Thanks for joining us only on ABC 24 tonight. The Shelby County District Attorney says he is optimistic his office will have success curbing crime in the area, as well as slow the revolving door of the Criminal Justice Center at 201 Poplar. Steve Mulroy sharing his ideas to, to us from community leaders today concerned about stopping violent criminals and cutting down on reoffenders. Here's our Brad Broders. Here at the U of M Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy laid out his office's new programs either in place or underway and what's being planned going into next year. All while remaining laser focused on making this community safer by cutting down on violent crime. Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy speaking to the civic nonprofit Positively Memphis Tuesday left little doubt about his passion for new reforms. I think the real revolving door that I'm concerned about is the revolving door of people who spend time in prison, get no rehabilitative services, and then come out and immediately reoffend. That's why Mulroy said he wants more money pumped into prisons to invest in inmates a different way. Even violent offenders can be rehabilitated if you give them realistic alternatives to life on the street, and that takes resources too. Since taking office in September, Morey said he's hired new prosecutors to make his office more diverse and establish cold case and justice review units to tackle cases of wrongful convictions or sentencing. Citizens can apply to take part in the justice review units when the website launches in a few weeks. People who want to, you know, bring cases of alleged wrongful conviction or wrongful sentences to our attention can start submitting files there. Mulroy also outlined his goals for next year. The DA's office plans to overhaul the money bail system so people aren't held for weeks waiting for a bond hearing because they can't afford a small bond up front. Mulroy will also hire a grant coordinator to go after new crime finding dollars, hire a data director, and set up a data dashboard so the public can see progress on improving crime numbers and convictions. Public confidence and the fairness in the system and the effectiveness of the system are key because without it, then you're not going to have the community cooperating with law enforcement. And if the community isn't cooperating with law enforcement, we're not going to be able to bend the curve on violent crime. Mulroy also said his office working with police to track down and charge those involved in non-deadly shootings is key since those offenders are at higher risk of committing deadly shootings later. At the U of M, I'm Brad Broders.